Nation and checking in with Josh Bryan from Jailhouse Strong again. Today we're going to bring you our first leg finisher today. Um, this is a great workout. Usually takes about eight minutes. It's body weight only. So I love this workout. Guys in the commercial gym, they can use it kind of. Maybe you've been inside the gym, you want to get outside for a little bit. Something about just the outdoor training environment I love. But you can kind of close out your, your workout with this finisher. Today I'm going to use Pablo, for example. So he's going to go ahead and start. You ready, Pablo? All right, let's do it. So he's going to start. He's got 20 body weight walking lunges. Good form, good upright posture. Pablo. Ten jump squats. Jump, Pablo, give me some height. Ten prisoner jump squats. Good. Now he's going to turn around. He's got 18 walking lunges. That 18 walking lunges, and as you can guess, it's gonna go nine jump squats, and it's just a descending ladder that's gonna go down. So you got 20, 10 jump squats, 18 walking lunges, nine jump squats, and then he's gonna come back 16. So the 16. lunges come down, so the lunges come down two, and the jump squat comes down one. Try to get some height on those jumps, because at this point in your workout, you just squatted. Um, maybe you did some single leg variations. I'm sure you did plenty of squats. Maybe you use the leg press, belt squat, whatever it is that you, you do for your leg workout. Soon these, these motor units aren't gonna fire, but just keep, they're firing. I promise you, just jump. Even if your feet are only leaving the ground two inches. Pablo just did, I believe, five sets of five front squats. Um, came back, did some belt squats single leg leg press and he did some barbell rdls good there you go pablo so his legs right now the state he's in extremely fatigued you could also utilize this workout if you wanted to um just if you wanted an outdoor workout as well or if you didn't have enough time i got this workout from a good friend of mine named jerry stringfield and uh, he used to use this workout. He'd do, I think, five sets of five. It was like his quick go-to leg workout when he didn't have a lot of time. And he'd get outside, but he really loved this workout. Good, good buddy of mine. Good. Let's go, Pablo. Come on. Seven, jump. Good, all the way down. Good. A little lower, there you go. Oh, come on. Good. Good. It's my, my first member, he's been with me for, since the beginning, I opened up my gym, my first group training member. He's also my barber, cuts me and my son's hair. Let's go, Pablo Coolio. That's good, Jay. Little funny prison story for you guys. So, in prison, prison's probably the only place in the world where just about almost, I, I can't say everybody, but probably 80% of the population gets into working out. So naturally you have a lot of guys in there who are in their forties and fifties who've never played sports before in their entire life, never worked out. And it's a great time to make a change for themselves. So they want to get into, get into training. They want to come out and look good. And it's the one place in life where you've lost everything. A lot of guys have lost their family, lost their old lady, lost their house. So it's the one thing that you can do to, you know, that really, that they just can't take away from you. It just makes you feel good about yourself at the end of the day. And I will get into that on a couple later videos, but this is a funny story. So the guy, he's the, he's on the, uh, if you're looking in the picture for this video, he's on the, on the right side, all the way on the right side. I never forget, good buddy, Italian guy. And anyways, he never played sports his entire life. And you would never think that by looking at him in the picture. He got in extremely great shape working out. Long story short, lo and behold, in the strength and conditioning world, I know they call them motor morons, but people that are just uncoordinated 
And uh, anyway, so when it comes to doing dumbbell walking lunges, I never forget this guy. He's trying to do these dumbbell walking lunges. And when he's walking, he's like all over the place and he can't manage himself. And he can't, I mean, the guy couldn't even do them with body weight. So anyways, we're doing, I think, I can't remember what it was, but it was like some 45 pound walking lunges with the dumbbells and he can't do it. So I'm trying to tell him, listen, man, learn with your body weight at first and then we'll go to the weights. Then you can start, everything's mastered upon your own body weight. And you know how some guys are, they just see other guys doing it. They feel they have to do it. Well, he keeps trying and finally he just chunks the dumbbells on the ground. And in that loud New York Italian accent, He's calling, he's talking to the dumbbells. He's calling the dumbbells rat stool pigeons. He's like, you rat stool pigeons, you rat stool pigeons, I'm gonna get you. And me and my buddies are just sitting around dying laughing. And I just thought about that story for this workout involved because it involves some lunges and he just came back into my mind. But I just never forget, man. But lo, lo and behold, long story short, months went on, man. He, he got those lunges, but I just thought I'd share that with you guys.